Have you ever walked through a garden, letting your fingers brush against the leaves and felt as if the plants themselves were trying to tell you something? Maybe you've paused just for a moment to listen to the gentle rustle of the wind through the branches or the soft hum of bees as they dance from flower to flower. It's almost as if there are secrets hidden just beneath the soil, stories waiting to be uncovered by those who are willing to look a little closer, to dig a little deeper. Gardens are places of quiet magic and transformation. Here, tiny seeds, no bigger than a grain of sand, can become towering sunflowers that stretch towards the sky, or juicy tomatoes that burst with flavor. Every day the garden changes, growing and evolving in ways that seem almost miraculous. For centuries, gardeners have experimented with all sorts of techniques, passing down their wisdom through generations. Some of these tips might sound strange, like whispering to your plants, or playing music for them, believing that a little extra love and attention can make all the difference. Others are rooted in tradition, like burying fish heads under rose bushes to give them a boost of nutrients, or planting by the phases of the moon. These rituals connect us to the gardeners who came before us, and to the mysteries of nature itself. But what if there was a secret, hidden in plain sight, that could unlock a whole new level of growth in your garden? Imagine if a simple piece of metal, something as ordinary as copper, could tap into the Earth's natural energy and help your plants thrive like never before. Today we're diving into one of gardening's most mysterious and intriguing ideas, a practice that's been whispered about for generations, but is only now starting to be rediscovered by curious gardeners around the world. This isn't about the latest fertilizer or a high-tech watering system. It's not about expensive gadgets or complicated routines. It's about something much simpler and much more ancient. It's about connecting your garden to the energy of our planet, using copper as a bridge between the earth and the sky. Imagine your vegetable patch supercharged, your plants growing faster and stronger than ever before, their roots reaching deep into the earth to draw up every bit of nourishment. Picture your tomatoes heavy with fruit, their skins glossy and their flavor rich, as if the garden itself is rewarding you for unlocking its hidden potential. Envision your flowers blooming brighter and more vibrant than ever, their colors almost glowing in the sunlight, drawing pollinators from far and wide. This is the promise of electroculture, an age-old idea that harnesses the natural electricity in the atmosphere to boost plant growth. By using copper, you can help your garden tap into the invisible energy that surrounds us all, turning ordinary soil into a powerhouse of life. So grab your gardening gloves and get ready to discover the electrifying secret that could transform your garden forever. The adventure is just beginning and the garden is waiting to share its whispers with you. Let's talk copper. You've seen it in pennies and wires, but it's more than just a shiny metal. Copper is an excellent conductor of electricity, which is why it's used in almost all electrical wiring. But plants need copper too. It's a vital micronutrient, helping them make chlorophyll and fight off disease. Without enough copper, plants can't make food efficiently, and their leaves turn yellow and weak. Gardeners already use copper-based sprays to protect plants from disease. But today, we're interested in copper's ability to conduct electricity. Electroculture proposes using copper as an antenna to channel natural energy from the atmosphere into the soil. This isn't about shocking your plants. It's about tapping into the Earth's gentle, ever-present electrical field. It's a fascinating blend of biology, chemistry, and physics, all in your backyard. Have you ever wondered if electricity could actually help plants grow? It might sound like science fiction, but this idea has fascinated gardeners and scientists for over a century. Imagine harnessing the invisible energy all around us to boost your garden's health and productivity. Our planet is like a giant battery, constantly charged by the natural electrical field in the atmosphere. Every thunderstorm, every flash of lightning and even the gentle static in the air is part of this global energy system. Plants have evolved under these conditions, and some believe they can tap into this energy for their own benefit. This is where electroculture comes in. The theory suggests that by introducing simple materials like copper wire or coils into the garden, we can help plants access and use this natural energy more efficiently. It's a blend of old wisdom and new curiosity, with roots in both folklore and modern experimentation. One idea is that a gentle electrical field in the soil helps nutrients move more freely, making them easier for roots to absorb. 
Think of it as giving the plant's root system a little extra push, helping water and minerals travel faster and more efficiently to where they're needed most. It's like creating a super highway for plant food, allowing nutrients to zip through the soil and reach hungry roots in record time. This could mean faster growth, greener leaves, and more abundant harvests. Some researchers believe that electrical fields can also influence root growth itself. Roots might grow deeper and spread wider, searching out water and nutrients more effectively. The result? Bigger, healthier plants that are better able to withstand drought and poor soil conditions. But it's not just about the plants. Healthy soil is alive with microbes and worms, all working together to break down organic matter and feed your garden. Some electroculture enthusiasts think that gentle electrical currents can stimulate this microbial activity, making the soil even more fertile and full of life. By encouraging this underground ecosystem, electroculture could help create a garden that's not only more productive, but also more resilient and sustainable in the long run. The result? A more energized ecosystem, with plants that thrive, soil that teems with life, and harvests that might just surprise you. It's a holistic view, seeing the garden as an interconnected energy system where every living thing plays a part and benefits from the flow of natural forces. While the science is still debated and more research is needed, the idea remains simple and inspiring. Work with nature's energy, not against it. By tuning into the planet's natural rhythms, we might unlock new ways to help our gardens flourish. So, could a simple copper wire really make a difference in your garden? Let's dive deeper and see how this electrifying idea works in practice. So, how does a copper wire do all this? It acts as a simple antenna, place a coiled copper wire in your garden, and it collects natural atmospheric energy, like a radio antenna, but for the Earth's electricity. The copper funnels this energy into the soil, creating a subtle electrical field. The currents are tiny, safe for plants and soil life. The wire bridges the positive charge in the air and the negative charge in the ground, creating a gentle, continuous current. This process is believed to energize the soil, making nutrients more available and boosting microbial activity. No chemicals, no power source, just a piece of wire optimizing the natural energy flow. It's a simple, sustainable way to potentially boost your garden's output. Ready to try it? Gardening can be a rewarding and therapeutic activity, and today, we're going to take it a step further by incorporating a bit of DIY science into our garden. Here's how to make your own copper antenna. This simple project can help you harness natural energies to potentially boost your plant growth. First, gather your materials. Get some bare copper wire, 12 or 14 gauge works well, and a wooden dowel or stick. These items are easy to find at your local hardware store or online. Next, wrap the wire around the dowel to make a coil, about 6 to 12 inches long. This coil will act as the main body of your antenna, capturing and channeling energy. Leave a straight tail at the bottom, 8-12 inches, to go into the ground. This tail will anchor your antenna and ensure it stays in place. At the top, you can make a small spiral or decorative shape to catch more energy. This not only makes your antenna functional but also adds a touch of artistry to your garden. Install the antenna by pushing the tail deep into the soil, with the coil standing upright. Make sure it's secure and stable. For a real experiment, plant two identical seedlings, one with an antenna, one without. This will help you observe any differences in growth and health. Observe and record the differences, height, leaf color, fruit size, and overall health. Take detailed notes to track your findings. No need to change your watering or fertilizing routine. The antenna works passively. Just continue with your regular garden care. Keep a garden journal and track your results over weeks and months. Documenting your observations will help you see patterns and make informed decisions. Science is about observation, so have fun and see what happens. Enjoy the process and the potential benefits of your new garden antenna. The design is simple, but you can experiment. The classic method is wrapping copper wire around a wooden stake. The wood is just for support. Some suggest wrapping clockwise in the northern hemisphere, counterclockwise in the southern, to align with Earth's energy flows. Try different coil shapes, straight, cone shape, or even open rings. A cone might funnel more energy into the soil. Place the antenna deep enough for good contact with moist earth. One antenna can affect a few square feet. Use several for larger beds. 
No power source needed, this is a self-sustaining eco-friendly system. As you get comfortable, try different designs, heights, and wire gauges. Every garden is unique, so experiment to see what works best for you. Remember, discovery is at the heart of gardening. Which plants respond best? Gardeners report root vegetables, carrots, beets, potatoes, grow larger with copper antennas. Fruiting plants like tomatoes, peppers and eggplants often produce more and bigger fruits. Leafy greens, lettuce, spinach, kale, can become more vigorous and pest resistant. Copper's natural pest repellent properties may add to the benefits. Try the antenna on a variety of plants, vegetables, herbs, even flowers. Keep records to see which plants respond most dramatically. Your garden becomes a living laboratory for discovery and abundance. If electroculture is so promising, why isn't it mainstream? The main reason, lack of large peer-reviewed studies. Most evidence is anecdotal, personal stories, not rigorous experiments. Modern agriculture focuses on chemicals and genetics, not subtle energy fields. Electroculture uses simple, non-patentable materials, so it's often ignored by mainstream science. But that's where you come in. By experimenting and sharing results, you help build real-world evidence. Your garden is your sanctuary and your laboratory. Using a copper wire to boost your harvest is a perfect example of hands-on discovery. Will it triple your harvest? Maybe, maybe not, but you'll learn something new. The best gardeners are always curious, always experimenting. Set up your antenna, choose your plants, and observe. Share your results with other gardeners. You're part of a long tradition of citizen scientists. So grab some copper wire, get outside, and make some science happen in your own backyard.